want to gain some people a cry. I don't want to be the man to sit on the jury. With so many better ways of spending my time. I don't want to be the man to give a decision. I get up my stick and kick from looking at cow. Although I would rather be in my baby's company. Blank, blank, I'm on the jury now. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. This court is now in session. No dare to budge. Here comes the judge of musical discretion. Everybody rise. In the name of the latest law of our nation, by far the greatest of legislation, this court of musical interpretation is ready to start the day. You men of the jury have been selected to sit in a body and keep protected the rights which might otherwise be neglected. So let your opinions be just. And as for the law, all of those who mock it will hardly find 30 days jail in their pocket. Without more ado, we'll proceed with the docket. And everyone's ready, I trust. The case of the Reverend Yes and Dieter versus Henry Whitewash, the choir leader. Our plaintiff and defendant in this action, ready for legal satisfaction. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, both of you step forward, please. Uh, what is your name? Reverend Yes and Dieter, of the Congregation of the Explicit Faith in the River of Jordan. And your name? Henry Whitewash, Your Honor, and I don't see no sense in my... Will the plaintiff take the witness stand, please? Do you swear your evidence to be the truth? I do. I do. Now, Reverend, will you tell the court the reason for your action? Your Honor, last Sunday morning, I was in the midst of sustaining to the brethren and the sisters the story about how Samson beat the stuffings out of a tough bunch of Philadelphians. When suddenly I remembered that my lazy choir ain't done done no singing yet. So I turns to this year no good piece of tripe and I says, look here. You're supposed to be the choir leader. Give us a song. Show, sure, he said. And immediately, he swings into something that upsets the dignity of my congregation. That will do. Will the defendant take the chair? Hey! hey. Do you swear your evidence to be the truth? I do. I do. Now, Henry Whitewash, what have you to say regarding this complaint? Well, Mr. Judge, on this Sunday morning, the Reverend turns to me snappy and said, give me a song. So I give it to him, just to snappy. There's all I did. Swing low, bitch, Harry, come on, get me home. Swing low, bitch, Harry, come on, get me home. Yeah, that's what that will do. That will do. Gentlemen of the jury, in making your decision, you must apply the principles of musical precision. I must inform you that the music law has clearly stated that temples of our solemn hymns cannot be violated. You've heard the plaintiffs and defendants' cases spoken, and it's up to you to see if any great law has been broken. <laughs> Have you reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. We find the defendant guilty. Come forward, Henry Whitewash. You are hereby sentenced to sing forever through a megaphone. The next case our attention is centered upon is Mary Smith versus husband John. An action for legal separation. Perhaps another tabloid sensation. Will Mary and John Smith please step forward? Now, will you please tell me what brings you into court? I want a divorce. On what ground? Polo. <laughs> 
You solemnly swear to nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Now, Mrs. Smith, will you please tell us why you want a divorce? Well, before John and I were married, our lives were all wrapped up in the better music, the classics. You see, John played the mandolin, and I turned the pages for him. But since we've been married, he's been spending a good deal of time with a Miss Syncopation. He gives me and the classics no more attention, and I want a divorce. Mr. Smith, is this true? Well, yes, Your Honor. But my intentions toward Miss Syncopation have been nothing but honorable. She stimulated me. Mrs. Smith, I am quite familiar with the Miss Syncopation you refer to. And I assure you that if Mr. Smith paid any attention to her, he was only one of millions. Now, children, court is no place for people who are in love. You do love him, don't you? Yes. And you love her? Yes, sir. Then forget the little quarrels of the past and make up. You'll be so happy. You'll always sing. If you'll remember one little thing. A little kiss each morning, a little kiss each night. Why care if hard luck may be ahead, an empty cover, a crust of bread. A little kiss each morning, a little kiss each night. Dreams may disappoint you, as they often do. Kiss away your teardrops, you'll come smiling through. Though hair so youthful may turn to gray, keep saying, sweetheart, the same old way. A little kiss each morning, a little kiss each night. The State versus Betty, who's charged by police with disturbing the national musical peace. Who knows how much damage this young lady did? Come forward, Miss Betty, the Boobadoop kid. What is your full name? Betty Boop. But please. Young lady, you have broken every law of music. What is more, you've caused the spreading of the habit to every man, woman, and child. Boob dooping must stop. Oh, no, Your Honor. Anything but that. There can be no leniency with such a serious offense. We must take away your boo boop for doop. Oh, please, Your Honor. Have mercy. Listen to my plea, huh? You know, I was born with a certain habit that Give me happiness somehow. And now this habit is right at home in the heart of me. Without it, I'm no good, no how. You can feed me bread and water or a great big bale of hay. But don't take my boo-boo-ba-doo-ba -boo 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 away. Justice is always blind. I hope it won't be so this time. For the sake of all justice, gentlemen, please be kind. Forgive this little miss her crime. You can take her father's money, make her boyfriends pay and pay, but don't take her. You can lock them all in prison. For a lifetime and a day, but don't take a boop. I don't She'd feel like a little chicken locked in a coop if you should deprive her of a boop boop a doop. If you've got a heart within you, then I know you'll say okay. 
but don't take the boot. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, what is the meaning of this confusion? We find it unnecessary to leave the courtroom to reach a verdict. What is your verdict? Not guilty. Boo -boo 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 -boo. <laughs>